Hello everybody. Um, Monday morning. I've been on for a week. So I thought I'd come on and give you a quick update on my health. Last week, was it Monday? I don't know. I'm all over the place with my days. Um, I had to go into hospital. Um, sitting in the accident and emergency for eight hours I can tell you was no fun actually I wasn't sitting I was lying I had a cubicle um, I had x-rays on my hip which hasn't come out of place although it does give me a lot of problems um, he only did a half hip replacement when it was done. Um, the other hip, which was full hip replacement, gives me no problem at all. This one, other one does. But it hasn't come out of place, so that's good news, I think. Um, because I was thinking and I was dreading having to have more surgery. And then I thought, well, if I do have to have more surgery on that hip, They'll do a full hip replacement this time. Maybe I'll be able to walk more than a few yards without being in pain. Anyhow, that didn't happen. And um, waited for a bit longer. Then had to go for more x-rays uh, and my spine. And it's discovered now that I not only have the collapsed vertebrae at the base of my back, and the problem with the lumbar area, I have collapsed vertebrae in the middle of my back. So that was news to me. And um, all in all, it explains why I'm having such excruciating pain. They uh, wanted me to stay in so they could get the pain under control and thereafter refer me to the pain clinic. Me be me, I decided that after a while I didn't want to stay in any longer and um, could I go home please? So she brought the forms for me to sign. <laughs> um, it was getting back home and looking at my bedroom and my bed. It was like looking at a little piece of heaven after the noise of the hospital and the emergency room and the wards. And, oh God, it was like a piece of heaven. Still in a lot of pain. The pain only let up really yesterday um it's now under control i'm still hurting quite a bit but i'm not crying about it as i was um i can't really stand up straight i haven't been to see alfie it's just over two weeks now since i've seen him but i've discovered that the the earth isn't going to shatter because I don't go, my kids have picked up the baton and have been wonderful going to see their dad and um, of course I ring every day as well. So that's that, I'm still in pain, I'm waiting for the referral to the pain clinic to come through. My medication, my pain medication has been increased uh, twofold, I'm now on double the amount. Um, I'm taking the Oromorph as often as three or every three or four hours and I was trying to not take that or at least to take as little as possible. Now I take it if I need it. After a few hours I will take it. And um, gabapentin. Um, paracetamol, not if I need it, but um, the big thing is that the, um, the transdermal patches, the morphine patches, 
have been doubled. So I'm getting double that going into my system now. And after a few days, it seems to be working and helping me. Um, so that's the situation. More collapsed vertebrae. Waiting for a referral for the, for the pain, pain, pain clinic. And in the meantime, on double the amount of meds. Um, I haven't been able to do anything really. Um, excuse me a sec. Except be home. I haven't even been able to concentrate on anything. What I have done, and I've shocked myself this morning by adding up the amount I've spent on Amazon um, and at John Lewis, things for Alfie, things for me, things for the household. Um, I've spent a lot of money through being stuck indoors. Not more than I've got available to spend, but more than I would wish to spend normally. One thing I have sent for, um, and I'm going to send for another one also. When my back has been hurting me, I felt as though literally I'm going to break in half. It's been hurting me that much. And my daughter said to me on Saturday, you need one of those back braces like the athletes have when they have injuries to their backs. And I've been think thinking about that and wondering um, where to get such a thing from and, and etc. Anyway, you can get what they called waist cinches or that support your back also. Um, I don't need to look anything up, but um, if they're going to help with my back. So I've sent for one from Amazon and then browsing the internet I found that John, John Lewis do some as well. Um, <clears throat> and in the reviews I saw a lady who'd said that she suffers a lot from back pain and she's bought one and it's of help to her so I'm going to send for one from uh, John Lewis and see how they work out for me um, rather than just sit here and wait for somebody else to do something I'll be a little bit proactive um, and I also need to get back to my meditations I haven't been doing them and as people all know you know I do them two or three times a day I haven't been able to concentrate um, and I've just been so tired. Anyhow, that's the situation. Lots of spends. So I've got lots of things to show you. I've got two boxes upstairs that I haven't even opened. I've got um, a small stool, chaise, two grand a word for it, chaise. It's like a an elongated stool that I got that I tried to put the legs on yesterday because I was feeling better and it's all it's all screwy if, if everybody anybody sits on it they're going to have a back pain themselves so I wait for my son to come and do that properly um so I bought that and I've got two boxes of stuff to show you I'm waiting for some stuff to come today um that will all be another video, um, an interesting video. Do you know, I can't really remember all that I bought. But, um, and then there will be another video, which isn't quite so pleasant, and it deserves, it merits a video. Sorry, I'm looking out the window for a delivery <laughs> It merits a, a video, a standalone video. I'm going to leave you with this thought. 
two thoughts. One is, I normally leave comments on my page and don't delete unless they've been really awful with their nasty language, then I'll report and delete and block. Um, so there's that. But normally I will leave comments. I don't block anybody simply for disagreeing with me. I certainly don't block my friends. So when somebody I don't know comes onto my video and in the comments section tells somebody, get off Anne's page. Who the hell are you to tell anybody to do that? If I want somebody not to comment, I'll be the one to say so, not you. And I don't even know who you are, Queen Nefertiti. I don't know you. I have a suspicion of who you might be. You don't come onto my videos and make a comment and tell people to scoot. Maybe you're the one who should be scooting. Could it be Christina Kyle? Under a false name? I don't know, it might be. Which leads me on to what one of my next videos will be about. And it will be about how the hell does a woman, and I'm naming no names, get a, don't spill my tea, get a career as a dog sitter. after she has admitted to falling on a dog and crushing it to death. Breaking every bone in that dog's little body. To neglecting her own animals when she goes dog sitting sitting to leaving a cat to suffer unnecessarily because she delayed visit to the vet and didn't give the correct medication who has admitted that she thinks it's okay to give the dogs the Xanax when she doesn't like to hear them barking How does a person like that have a career of dog sitting? Wouldn't leave her with my animals, certainly not. Neither would I appreciate um, her making videos and showing everybody through my home. If anybody's going to do that, it will be me. That's going to be one of my next videos. I have to admit that, you know, when I, when I heard of that, the dog being crushed to death, I was horrified and um, I just couldn't, I couldn't compute it. Um, I only hope that dog didn't suffer too much. I won't leave you with a thought for today for the simple reason that I'll be back later. Um, and also because I haven't thought of a thought for today, but I will be back later. Excuse my attire. 
um, I'm not getting dressed. I'm in my, what do you call it, my house coat. And this is going to be me for the rest of the day, I'm afraid. But um, I hope it's not too offensive to people. And I'll be back. I'm going to do two videos, as I say. One regarding the haul, or the hauls that I've got. And one regarding animals. And animal abuse. I'll be back later. Have a great day everybody, whatever you're doing. See you later on. God bless. Bye bye.